Hello, Alphabet Mafia fam. Welcome to Ask Alphabet Mafia, where you ask questions to Alphabet Mafia. Before we getting started, I want to say thank you all so much for the continued support. I know it's a crazy time out there in the world. Everyone that is on TikTok that follows, everyone that is watching these YouTube videos, everyone that is downloading the podcast and listening to previous episodes, that means a lot. You are all so amazing. And one of the quickest and easiest ways that you can continue to support Alphabet Mafia is by smashing that like button. So go ahead and smash that like button right down there. Another easy way and fun way you can support the brand is by ordering a sticker. And I want to offer an exclusive deal to... That wasn't supposed to happen. To those that watch the show, you are getting an exclusive deal. Buy two stickers, get one for free. Use this promo code that is capital B, the, the number two, and you, you see the rest. That will get you a total of three stickers with one being free. Another bit of housekeeping, I will be live streaming a conversation with Nick videos from TikTok. Nick is a very conservative, pro-Trump, MAGA type person. We're gonna be doing a podcast remotely. I will be live streaming it over on TikTok and then I will upload the podcast and their audio recordings to uh, YouTube as well as Apple and Spotify where the podcasts also are. That will be taking place Thursday, April 2nd at 4 p.m. Pacific time. So make sure to go on to TikTok and tune in to watch live or if not, you can just you know, get it when it's posted. All right, so enough housekeeping. Let's dive into today's question. So this person asks, as you could probably tell by my name, I am a girl, and I find myself romantically attracted to all genders with a preference to guys, but I find myself sexually attracted to only girls. I can see myself being in a relationship with any gender, but I only feel sexually attracted to girls. I am not sexually attracted to guys whatsoever. I'm not sure what this would be labeled as, or if I even want to be labeled. I feel like I want a label, but I just can't find the right one. I'm also confused on this might affect my future relationships. I want to get married in the future regardless of the gender, but I feel like it might affect our relationship if I get married to a guy, but I don't feel sexually attracted to him. I'm sorry if this is a lot of information being thrown at you all at once. I just don't have anyone else I can talk to at this very moment. All right, so a few things to unpack there. So uh, it's good that they are able to acknowledge that they are, you know, attracted to, to different genders um, and that they can actually decipher the difference between their attractions. They say romantically attracted to all genders, but sexually attracted to girls. She can see herself being in a relationship with any gender, but only sexually attracted to girls and doesn't know what to label herself. Well, I will say this. Off the bat, especially especially if you are fairly young, do not worry about labels. Do not worry about finding that label, finding, oh, I'm bi, oh, I'm pan, oh, I'm gay. Like, really, that doesn't really matter, right? You know, we have to, it's easy and it's kind of fun. Like, it makes it easy and we can take pride when we have a label. But at the end of the day, like, you don't want to put yourself in the wrong label or feel like you're constricted to your label. Science says that sexuality is fluid, um, meaning that it's a spectrum and that it can even change on, you know, as time goes on. So one day you might be more so sexually attracted to, to girls and the next day you might be sexually attracted to guys. So don't get caught up in the labels. That's that's my first little bit of, 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 of advice is don't worry what you are. And so the second piece that we have to unpack is they say, I want to get married in the future, regardless of the gender. I feel like it might affect our relationship if I get married to a guy, but I don't feel sexually attracted to him. Um, and yeah, you know, I'm not a marriage therapist. I'm not a sex therapist. But in my personal opinion, I would feel like marriage would be very, very hard if there was no sexual attraction. Like, th like don't get married if you're not sexually attracted to them, right? Like, I don't know. Like everyone can do their own thing differently. Everyone can live their life and uh, how they want. But I, but I personally don't feel like that if you aren't sexually attracted to someone, then you should not go and get married to them. And so I say the bottom line here uh, for this person is one, do not get caught up in the labels. Two, yes, in my personal experience, I think you need sexual attraction. So don't get married to someone you're not sexually attracted to. And really overall, especially if you're very young, just kind of go with the flow. Don't put too much pressure on yourself. Uh, you know, I'm not endorsing anything, but you know, make out with a girl one night. You know, if you're if you're feeling it with a guy, make out with a guy. Like, just see, kind of explore what you what you want and what is most comfortable and fitting for you, um, without putting pressure on yourself to have to have it figured out. Everyone's gonna figure it out at their own pace, and some people are like 40, 50, still figuring it out. So there's no rush to to get it figured out. Don't worry too much about that. Just just kind of 
go with the flow and realize that you know you are loved you are valid whatever you may be and there's going to be someone out there for you regardless of what you are what you identify with or who you like and that's kind of the bottom line so thank you all so much for watching today stay safe with the coronavirus make sure to use that exclusive special promo code for the youtube viewers that are viewing this and if you want to ask a question, please email me, email info at thealphabetmafia.com. That will ensure I actually see it because I read every single email I get. Uh, again, thank you all so much for watching and make sure to smash that like button and subscribe. Have a beautiful morning, evening, whatever it is. Good night.